His devotion to others was his biggest asset. He did everything he could to have a lasting impression on so many people. He was positive. He was there for people when they needed him the most. And the lives that he's touched are innumerable. And you know, what is so heartfelt to us is that there were so many people that came up to us through the years that really told us how much he impacted their lives and really was like a father figure for them. What I remember most about my dad growing up is basketball. That was primarily what we talked about and what he was doing all the time. So especially with CNU, I remember running around the halls of Ratcliffe Gym and I just remember him really loving his team and loving all the kids and wanting them to do their best. My dad definitely influenced my love for sports and as I've gotten older, I've definitely taken on some of his traits as in falling asleep watching golf when my husband does or watching the Redskins and being very sad all the time because they're terrible. Um, it just gives me a warm feeling because I associate it so much with how I grew up and every part of our life, there was always some sport in every season and we were always watching it. A lot of people might not know this about my dad, although I think most do, is that he was very, very particular. And one thing I remember with growing up is how strategic he was with his plans for his team. And that really took the form of post-it notes all over our living room. So if you touched it, you would get in a lot of trouble because his mastermind plan would be disturbed. So that's one of my first memories is how he coached with such strategy and always had a plan. One of my dad's traits that I hope to aspire to is to be as humble as he always was. If he were standing here getting this award tonight, he would just thank everybody else around him and honestly think that he personally really didn't have much to do with it and that it was a collection of everyone that he worked with. The hardest part about accepting this award on my dad's behalf is that he can't be here to accepted himself and while his life was cut short I have to find some kind of peace in realizing what a great life he led and how many lives he touched and this award really is a reminder of that for us all.